Hi, this is the library orientation slideshow that I would like to share with everybody. I'm going to go over some of the things that you see on the front slide. Um, if you are not part of your Google Classroom for the library at your school, please contact your librarian and they will get you the code. Everybody should have been invited for the most part. So you could also check just in your Google Classroom and accept the invitation. But if you don't have one for your library Google Classroom, let your librarian or your teacher know. So for those of you who might not know me, my name is Miss Tom. I am the librarian at Bristow Middle School. And on this front slide, you see Mrs. McNeese. She is the librarian at Cedric. And Mr. St. Germain is a library at KP. And Olga is my cat. And I love Olga. And you will see Olga in a lot of different places throughout the year if you see presentations by me and on my website. Um, she literally sits like a human being, just like you see in this photo. So um, the first thing that I want to talk about is um, oops, that this slide that um, if you click on the name of the school, it will bring you right to the library website. And this person that is with me in front of Bristol Library doorway is Miss McCarthy, and she is my intern, and she is going to be working with me throughout this semester. So you might get to see her in a virtual situation sometime. One of the things that I want everybody to know for um, book checkout, if you are a hybrid student and you are in school one week on and one week off, you will be able to put a hold in Destiny and books will be delivered to you in your advisory the weeks that you are in school. So the book checkout is still working completely. Um, the entire collection is available. You are just probably not able to come to the library in person as much as you were last year. So please take advantage of that. And I'm going to show you very briefly how you can access that if you are not sure. There is also a video in this presentation. So if you are um, at home and don't remember how to do it, go back to that video and I go through the steps just like I'm going to show you now. So when you go to the Bristow Destiny website, you can access that from the library page and you will come to Destiny Discover. If you know what you are looking for specifically, you can type in a title or an author. You can do advanced search features so you can search by keyword if you're looking for something more nonfiction. Um, all of these are different ways that you can limit your search. If you are just browsing, you can go through and look at the different lists that are on this main page. So we have recently added books. I've been adding books here at Bristow as have the other two librarians in their collection. So we have lots of new books that are available. And as you can see, if it has a green triangle that says in, it is available for immediate checkout um, in whatever format it is in our system. Or if it says out in that corner, it means that you will have to put a hold on it because somebody already has it checked out. So this is a book that I have been waiting for. We just got it yesterday to, into the library. It is Stacey McNulty's new book, Millionaires for the Month. She is also the author of um, The Lightning Girl and some five months of April or something is her newer one. So I really like her as an author. She does really good realistic fiction. So if I know I wanna check this out, I'm gonna click on it and I am going to see what formats this is available. So this is an actual book, cause I can see that here. Um, some will say audio book and some will say ebook. So you can decide what type of format you wanna check that book out. You will need to log in, but you are able to log in with your Google. So you can click that and you will find your school Gmail account that pops up and it will bring you back to the same screen you were on, except you'll notice two new additions. There's a hold button and there's a favorite button. So in order to have this book delivered to you in advisory, all you have to do is click hold and that is it. You will be able to see in your account which books you have on hold so that when you are logged in, you can, you can view that by going up here to your account and you can see, um, your information will show up of what you have checked out. So that is how you put a hold. If you are a remote student and you are not in the building, but you do all your classes online, we are working on setting up a curbside pickup that will hopefully start the last week of September. So stay tuned for those details. Um, 
And in the meantime, everybody has access to the books in Sora. So these are the eBooks and the audio books we have. We have a huge collection and we are adding more every day. So please check regularly. Again, there's a video to how to access it, but I'm gonna show you real quick on this screencast. So when you click on Sora, the very first time you set it up, it's gonna look a little differently and you're going to have to find the school. And our school is West Hartford, PS middle schools. So that's the school that you are going to connect to. Um, once you get to this main site, you can click explore. And this might be the page that it automatically opens up for um, you when you log in. And the first thing you'll see is our collections. And this is where we create different collections so that if um, you are looking for a type, a certain type of book, you can search the collection. So we have this list is anti-racist. We have 46 titles part of this collection right now. Fiction, nonfiction, all sorts of genres, fantasy, realistic fiction, verse novels, um, historical fiction fiction and uh, science fiction so you can kind of find, figure out what you're interested in reading and then if you go down to popular subjects you can also search that way so it's like the physical library is set up by genres for our fiction that's sort of similar of how you can explore the subjects and then one other thing I want to point out is if you click collections up here and you get to this page, you can search by the nut, you can find the nutmeg. So we have all of the available ebook or audiobook or both for the nutmeg for the intermediate and for the middle school titles. And then this is one that I often checked as well. I see what's new. So I want to know what's new for ebook edition. So um, these are all books that have been added recently. So these three I added personally yesterday. This is the first author visit that we will be having on Tuesday, September 22nd. So this book is available as an ebook if you would like to start reading it right now. These two books are really good scary horror books if that's more of your style. So those are both also available because they just were added to the system. So it's very simple to check something out. So let's say, let's go back to collections and let's look at audiobooks because audiobooks are also a really great option if you are on the bus or in a car or going for a walk or exercising you could also listen so if it says borrow it means it is a immediately available so i'm going to click just mercy that's one that i've been wanting to read so I, um, i'm going to add it to my audio collection and borrow was available so i'm going to click borrow and see if it will open up and let me actually borrow this title and it brings me right into the the book itself. So it will load, it will, if I push play. Listening Library presents Just Mercy, adapted for young adult. So I can listen to it. If I want it to be a little bit faster, I can up the speed a little bit. It's a true story of the fight for justice. This is the author, Ryan Stevenson. Okay, um, I can download this. See, it's downloading right now to my account. So I won't have to use data once I go back in and listen to it. Um, and my the different options here, when I click on that, um, I can renew this book. So if I am not done listening to it in 13 days when it's going to be due, if nobody has it on hold, I can renew and get it for two more weeks. If I finish it early, which I do often, I can go in and return it early because that means that if somebody else is waiting for it, they get to start listening to it right away. So that's something that I really um, ask that you do if you finish things early. And then it just has information and some reviews for that book. So lots of different things you can access there. So that's Sora. So please let your librarian know or your teacher, your language art teacher know if you're having any issues with accessing or finding titles of um, books you want. And something else that um, we are doing is you can also search for books that are in the public library. Um, and so we'll talk more about that if that's something you're interested in connecting the public library to your Sora account. All right, so the next thing that I wanna mention, I just said the public library. We want all of our students in West Hartford Public Middle Schools to have a public library card. We have three amazing branches in the town that, um, 
Hopefully all of you have been to at least one of them. So check out the, the, the website. It's up there. And if you do not have an active library card, if you've lost yours, if it is out, over, or, um, outdated and you need to renew it, or you just have never had one, you can click down here and it will allow you to fill out a form online to register for a library card since not many people are going into the physical library right now. They make it really easy. So again, um, please get a card in the next few weeks if you don't already have one. So we're hoping everybody has one by the beginning of October. Again, ask your librarian or your teacher for help if you are having a hard time uh, figuring out how to do that or have any questions. Uh, the ne next thing that I want to mention are the amazing author events that Miss McNeese, Mr. St. Germain, and myself are planning for the year. We already have four scheduled for the, um, the fall. Uh, there's three represented here, and I'm going to show you right here. Um, these are... This one was just added, Lindsay Curry. She writes scary, creepy stories. Scritch Scratch was one that I just mentioned that was added to our Sora account recently. So um, be, be on the lookout. This information was emailed to uh, Bristol students on yesterday, which was the 16th of September, and everybody will be seeing this soon if you haven't already. So just keep your eyes open um, for information about those events coming up. And um, another thing that we're going to be doing regularly is creating virtual bookshelves. So we shared this out on our Google Classrooms and language arts teachers shared it in some of their classes in their classrooms. Uh, we created 9-11 virtual bookshelf last Friday for September 11th. And these books, we also hyperlink to where you can access the digital copy, whether it's an ebook or an audio book. Um, if you do Hoopla, you do need your library card. So that's one of the things we use our library cards for is to log into the Hoopla platform that has ebooks and audiobooks from the public library. And here are two virtual shelves of our nutmeg. So we have the intermediate list, which has great titles. There's a peculiar incident on Shady Street. So we'll be meeting Lindsay Curie at the end of October. And this is the middle school list. And there are so many great titles on here as well. And we'll be meeting Scott Rankin on September 22nd for him to talk about Nixia. And if you click on any book cover on this slide for either the intermediate or the teen, it will bring you to this spreadsheet that will give you links to all the different ways you can access the digital copy, whether it's an ebook or an audiobook. So that's a one stop shop if you are trying to take the Nutmeg Challenge and read as many of the Nutmegs for 2021 as you can. And the book talk of the week, we wanted to talk a little bit here from Scott Rankin. So this, um, when you have this slideshow, you can open it up and you can push play and you can watch the first about three minutes is where he's talking a little bit about his book. And then he goes into a little bit more detail with his writing process and his ideas. And he'll talk about those in the 22nd also. So you don't have to watch that, but you can if you would like. So that is sort of an overview of our library services as of right now. Uh, we hope that you are putting holds on books, checking lots of things out, using our digital resources whenever possible, and always know you can email any of us if you have questions. Have a great day. Bye.